Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm delighted to be joined by Mark Tebbs, Billy Joe Saunders trainer. What a day, Mark. Um, I done an interview with his dad, Tom, this morning. He said the fight was off. Billy Joe Saunders seems in good spirits on his Instagram. I mean, what, what more can you elaborate on this whole ring situation? Um, to tell the truth, Andy, uh, I know it come to light, uh, I think, uh, Monday morning uh, we had a session and a uh, very very good uh, we've done some good work um, Monday but it come to light about the the ring size so I was very disappointed and uh, I was told that uh, MTK are dealing with it and uh, and yeah that's as far as I know really and the bits and pieces I've heard on the uh, you know from you guys but um I trust that it's going to get sorted and I wanted it to get sorted yesterday uh, to tell the truth and uh, so I'm very very disappointed because uh, it could be a problem you know I really I really feel that this could be a big 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 problem I mean I had a I had to meet Billy this morning we had to meet and touch base but um, it didn't happen and uh, it didn't happen and um, but we're just keeping positive the best we can and uh, hopefully you know, the Eddie Hearn and MTK can get this sorted a bit lively. It's, it's definitely been a, an eventful day today. Now, people back home, when I released that interview, are quite selfishly on my part as well as a boxing fan, and you're a boxing man yourself, Mark. This fight is a fight that we all want to see, including yourself. Man. It's one of the biggest fights this year, one of the biggest fights in the last two, three, four years or whatever. So we need to see this fight, and let's hope we can, Eddie Hearn and MTK and Team Saunders and Team Canelo can work this out. Can you see, can you see this being resolved sh shortly? Um, I hope so. You know, I'm, I'm always I'm a positive guy. So, so like what with uh, what with uh, seventy thousand fans, and uh, we feel all part of bringing crowds back to this world, mm. not just the boxing world, to the world. So, so we all want to play a part in this uh, in this uh, this event, and uh, we've got the best fighting the best, and. Uh, as I say, 70,000 fans just, you know, trying to bring the world back uh, in operation after COVID or, you know, get coming out of COVID. So I felt, uh, I really felt positive up until, uh, and we've we've bent over backwards uh, for, for Canelo's team uh, in, in this event. I feel that uh, Saunders has. And then that was the nail in the coffin, uh, you know, the, 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 the ring size. So um, he's a big, 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 massive superstar in the world of boxing. And, uh, you know, and I'm sure, you know, he's going to give us, at least give us the dance floor that, you know, or, you know, we'd like the biggest dance floor uh, if we could, but, you know, we're not asking for the maximum size, we're just asking for, you know, the size we want, you know what I mean, the 22 foot. So we'll see, we'll see. Well, again, selfishly as a boxing fan, I really want to see this fight. I'm gonna. I, I shouldn't really say it, but I, say, I am a boxing fan. I really want to see it. So fingers crossed. Eddie Hearn's here today. Hopefully we can work this out. Now I just want to talk about the fight itself. Fingers crossed it does happen. And but Billy Joe has been looking absolutely phenomenal. Uh, people have been commenting on the way his, he looks, his attitude, the way he's been. He's came across the last few weeks on Instagram stuff like that. You've been with him this camp, man. Has this been the best camp Billy Joe Joe's been in? Has he, have you seen anything different in Billy Joe in this camp the way he's approached the, the Canelo fight? Yeah, for sure. I mean, 100%. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders has always been, listen, he's always been a phenomenal trainer, regardless of what you've heard and regardless of his uh, so-called weight problems in the past. He's always been a, a, a dedicated uh, trainer, one million percent. But uh, this this fight, uh, I, when I look back, when I look back from the start of his career, or when I think back from the start of his career, I mean, it's all coming, coming it's all making sense, it's all falling into place, because uh, the last two training camps that I've been a head trainer with Billy Joe Saunders for the Murray fight and for this fight here, um, he's been, uh, it's all worked towards Saturday coming. It's all worked towards that. And uh, he's become an accomplished professional in the years he's, uh, he's been a professional. And uh, he's gone right through the, the amateur system to, to, to Olympics and uh, he's gone right through the professional system to uh, being world champion, uh, two-weight world champion. And uh, so he's learned a lot along the way and uh, he, he was already uh, gifted by the almighty being a, 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 a great boxer. 
and uh, he reads fights well. Where he's got, uh, he's just a, he's just an accomplished, beautiful boxer, and uh, and with experience and, and with uh, with getting his right team in place <coughs> for this Canelo fight, he, him, himself as well as uh, uh, Cam, the, the um, strength and conditioner, uh, Greg Marriott and uh, Tom Watts uh, and George Lockhart, we've all come together to, uh, I think you're going to see something special on a Saturday night, I really do believe, and uh, Billy Joe Saunders has played this perfectly, yeah. I've got to say, a lot of people, well, people think that Canelo's unbeatable and stuff, like that. and we've seen him against Cam Smith, put in a great performance, Yildrum stopped, just managed to be challenger within three rounds, I was lucky enough to be at both of them fights. Now, a lot of people are saying Canelo's unbeatable, but a lot of people also, I'm seeing on Twitter and all these social media platforms, I'm seeing a lot of people thinking that Billy Joe Saunders can pull this off. Now, we know Canelo's had problems with the southpaws, Eris Lara. We know he's been difficulties against them. Um, he's had difficulties against slick, slick boxers in terms of Floyd Mayweather and stuff like that. But I'm not saying Billy Joe Saunders is Floyd Mayweather by any stretch of the imagination, but he does have problems with Billy Joe's sort of style. And with Billy Joe, the way he's, you said he's playing a blinder here, the way he's, he's upset in the camp and stuff like that, I mean... I'll be in for a shock this Saturday. Do you see this as a shock or an upset if Billy Joe Saunders wins on Saturday night? See, look, let me tell you something. Look, um, no one's unbeatable. Nobody's unbeatable. Uh, every dog has its day. Um, works for everyone. Uh, we're fighting a, a man with two arms, two legs that breathes the same fresh air as we do. Um, I just believe that uh, Billy Joe Saunders, it's his time, it's his moment, and uh, he's timed it perfectly right timed it perfectly right and uh, I'm very very confident that uh, he's going to pull off a very very uh, perfect masterclass boxing match on uh, Saturday night and uh, that's all I can say I mean he's, um, he's, he's, he's you know in every department I can't say uh, he's ticked every box in every department he's, uh, he's, he's uh, my expectations he's, he's, he's blown him away you know he's blown him away with uh, with the numbers and with uh, you know everything with his just just his, his old being and um, I, I'm not sure if I should be saying this but I'm just telling telling you how, how it is so I'm expecting a, a, a beautiful performance and uh, I'd be surprised if you don't perform on Saturday night for sure as I said coach I know you've probably studied Canelo and, and stuff like that so, so as, a, as a head coach studying Canelo and what Billy Joe Saunders stuff, have you seen any weaknesses in Canelo and anything you can exploit in, his, in the way he fights and the way he approaches a fight? No, listen, look, Canelo Alvarez is, is, is a, he's a beautiful box fighter, front foot fighter and a very, very quick counter puncher. Saunders is a very quick counter puncher himself. He's a, uh, got great feet. His, uh, his IQ is phenomenal and we need that IQ, we don't need it, he just works his IQ. If anything, he sometimes fight, fights with this a bit too much and uh, he's got to fight with this in this fight. Uh, you know, more outweigh the, outweigh the heart with the mind, if you know what I'm saying, but um, I'm sure he will do. He's, uh, he's a kind of fighter, Billy Joe Saunders, I ain't got to tell you this, he's, uh, when he's under it, he performs, you know, he pulls it off. Against Lemieux and Chris Eubank, he gets up for it against lesser challengers. He doesn't really get up for the fight, but I'm guessing we're going to see the best Billy Joe Saunders against Canel. Yeah, absolutely. You, you, we will have to. I mean, when he fought Andy Lee, I think Andy Lee. Uh, no disrespects to uh, Lemieux and Eubank. Uh, uh, you know, I think Andy Lee was uh, the most dangerous fighter out of all of them fighters you just mentioned. Uh, with all, with all due respect, uh, being he was a one punch knockout artist, he was very very technical. Andy Lee he was long, tall, and rangy, and. Uh, I felt that at the time that was a 60-40 fight in uh, Lee's favour, and he went out there and uh, and uh, took control and got the result and uh, and put him over a couple of times. But um, getting back to this fight, now Canelo's a Canelo's a beautiful, accomplished box fighter, but so is Billy Joe Saunders. He's a beautiful boxer. It's going to be like a matador and a ball scenario, and uh, if the matador keeps his head, he's going to pull off the perfect bank robbery. Of the year. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's almost, I do want to mention that's the, almost the perfect way to end, um, end this interview, but I want to mention you weren't privy to it. You were obviously taking care of your fighter and keeping staying calm and stuff like that. But in the lobby, we've seen Team Saunders and we've seen Team Canelo going at it in the lobby. They're all over social media, they're all over YouTube and stuff like that. 
uh, it adds needle to this fight that the two teams are going back and forth and stuff like that. You you, you didn't see it, but did, did you weren't there, but did you see any of the, the sort of back and forth between the teams? Yes, I did actually. I, I heard about it and I looked at what was going on and, you know, um, you know, um, I did understand. I mean, I could see what was going on and, uh, you know, it's... it's uh, I'm not too sure what I think or say about it, but uh, it's just you know it's uh, it's getting near fight time. Um, it's getting near fight time, and uh, yeah, um, that's what happens in hotel foyers at f <laughs> on fight time. We get a bit excited, yeah, but yeah. I'm glad I weren't there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you were there; it would have been <laughs> more of a ruckus, no? No, we've got um, we've got a job to do, and yeah. we're we're we're, we're um, you know we've got a professional job to do, and uh, it's going to be a big, big, big event if this fight takes place on Saturday night and let's please God fingers crossed it does well I'm, I'm, my fingers are crossed as well Mark I won't keep you much longer but I, w I will want it, you to say why should the fans tune in if this fight is go ahead, going ahead on Saturday night why should the fans back home tune in to watch Billy Joe Saunders against Canel well you've got the pound for pound uh, biggest pay-per-view star in the world of boxing in Canelo Alvarez uh, who's a, a multiple uh, world champion and also you've got our guy from the UK, Billy Joe Saunders, who's also a two-weight world champion. And um, we've been starved of our own fans from coming to Dallas, Texas, because of this COVID scenario or whatever it is over. And uh, But that ain't going to phase us in any way. It's going to fuel us. Um, that won't phase, phase us. It will fuel us. But uh, we, we're very sorry we can't have our own fans in, in, in that stadium that's going to hold 70,000 fans on Saturday night. But that ain't gonna few, uh, that ain't gonna bother us. We're gonna crack on with the job, and we're gonna make uh, the British public proud. Yeah. Yeah, Mark. Perfect. Please go and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks. Thank you so much for the interview, and uh, fingers crossed this fight gets made. Thank you, sir. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. Is that all right? That's